Hello and welcome to another video on Python Essentials. My name is Nikhil. So today we are going to be taking a look at how does the length of the string relate to the indexing of that string? Okay. And uh, we could take any example right here. We have S, let's call it str1, right? The variable being assigned the string. Python is an open source language. Okay. Let's run that. Let's go ahead and print string one. So if we were to take a look at the string as a whole and uh, supply its indexing, right? So if you look at the character beginning at P, Try to just show this over here. Okay. So when we begin with indexing, we are starting with the number zero, right? Beginning with zero for the first character. Here's your second character, right? If I have to just write this down. Okay, is n going on up to the last word, right? Complete with a full stop. We do have a full stop and that will be treated as a character all by itself. Okay, so each character will have, let's get rid of this. Each character is going to have an index value and we'll be beginning with zero one, two, right? This goes on up to the final index value. Let's find out what that is by getting the length, right? So once we move into the zone where we have a pretty long string, may not be practical to do the counting, right? Let's come down a little. All right. So here we talk about len for length. String one, this will give us the number. We basically have 34 characters in string one. All right. Beginning with P, ending with the full stop. Okay. And when you're talking about what the actual numbering means, which reflects this length, right? Because when you're calculating the length of a string, you would calculate this as your first character. Let's have a new color. This will be your first character, isn't it? When you talk about actual numbering, P is your character number one, say first, Y is second, third, and so on and so forth, right? So we already know that this full stop over here corresponds to 34, right? That's the length of the string. So this has to be character number 34 or 34th character, you can call it. And what do we notice as a relation between the indexing and the actual number? One minus zero, two minus one, three minus two. We basically have the indexing running one behind the actual numbering, right? So you know if the last character is the 34th element in that string, you're talking about the indexing value of 33, right? That will be the index number of the last character, okay? Now that we have established that, let's try and find out Or rather, let's extract the last character of the string, okay? Which is a full stop. How would we do that? How would we get the indexing? Within square brackets, we need a number, don't we? In this case, now we happen to know what this last index value is. You need not actually calculate it. 
we can just say length of string minus one, right? That's how we got the, the final index. That becomes the value which goes into these square brackets and we'll be able to get the, okay, what's going on here? Oh, okay, it's string one, not str, right? There you go. You just have a full stop, okay? So likewise, if you're beginning from zero to 33, the reverse indexing will start at minus one here, minus two here, going up to minus 34, okay? It's simply saying one to 34 backwards, right? So you'd have the negative character attached to it. So if, if you were to call the first character based on the length, what would we do? String one, we'd say length of string one, which gives us the full length, right? And that's, that's basically the reverse indexing. This would be multiplied by minus one, right? That gives us the first character. So there are ways to call the last and the first. You could just give a range over here if we want to extract the whole world, uh, the whole, whole word here, Python, right? We're talking about extracting Python as a whole. We would begin at minus 34. Let's still do it in terms of the length. And uh, we're talking about extracting six characters. Right? So we say the start and uh, going up to length times minus six. It not quite. We would say actually give you length minus six, right? Length minus six because you have six characters and we are using reverse indexing. So we'd multiply this by minus one. It's only to give us the relation between the length and the indexing, right? We have probably simpler ways to get the first character, but here is how we would relate what the length and the indexing mean to each other. 